Hey guys, welcome back. It's fall and you want a luxury coffee bar experience, right? Well, you're in the right place because I'm going to show you how to set up a cozy high design coffee bar today that's going to make you feel like you have your own local coffee shop right in your home. Plus, I have a couple of really awesome Dollar Tree DIYs to share with you today and you're not going to believe them. So it's going to be a great video. Let's get a nice cup of coffee and get started. Now to start off my coffee bar experience, I really need some sort of stand to display all the items that I want to put out, but I really couldn't find anything online. So I went to the Dollar Tree, I got two wooden planks, I got four of these large planks that are white and a little bit thicker, and then I got a whole bunch of these small boxes. And there's a couple other things that you can see here for the second DIY that we're going to be doing with these uh, little bit of cloches and these stands, but I actually got the stands from Hobby Lobby at 60% off, except for the acorn stands which are also from Dollar Tree. Now to set this up, I'm going to be using the hot glue gun as well as wood glue just because wood glue takes quite some time to dry and uh, I would like to move quickly on this project so I'm going to add the wood glue and the hot glue and then I'm going to take a book to help me keep my project level when I'm building it on either side. So first I'm going to go ahead and apply the wood glue. The first panel is going to be laying horizontal and so it's going to be from side to side and then I'm going to glue on the second panel from behind but that one's going to be standing upright so that one's going to be vertical instead. I'll do two of these, one for each side and then I'll level them up on my book so that they're going to be flat and, and also going to sit in a way that's going to be level once I put on the top pieces. Now that I have those in place, I'm going to be taking two of the long thin planks and adding those across the top. But to get the spacing correct, what I'm going to be doing first is placing the boxes behind that plank and make sure that those are somewhat of a space holder until I can get that glued in place. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue all three of those boxes together and then I will lay them across that panel on the back layer. The second shelf is quite easy. You just go ahead and line that up and then you put a little bit of glue on each side and just try to make sure that that front edge is over the boxes a little bit just to give it some stability in the center portion. I line that up and anchor that with glue at the top and at the bottom with both hot glue and wood glue. Now 
I'm super happy with how this turned out. I think this gives a lot of styling uh, elements to it, a lot of styling potential with all these little cubbies. So I'm really excited to put this together and show you how this is gonna look. And so now that we have our stand created, we can go ahead and start designing this space. I have everything cleared out at first so that you can see our starting point. I have just my black vinyl backdrop as well as some of the uh, chalkboard artwork that I have on those that you could see from a previous uh, luxury coffee bar makeover that I've done if you'd like to see how I create those. And then I'm going to go ahead and just bring my coffee makers in just to get the spacing and alignment here. And now you can see, well, you got all those cables there, but don't worry, we're going to cover that up with the stand that we just built from the Dollar Tree so you won't see any of that. So it's really going to be great how well that's going to be covered up. And this is the amazing benefit to creating something yourself because finding something that's going to custom fit your space can sometimes be really difficult. And so when you can think about ways to create something with these wooden pieces that fit specifically for your space, that's going to really be awesome because you can't always find a piece that's already built in store. So let me take another example. What if you have not as much space at your house? Well, then you can do two of these cubbies across instead of three. Uh, you can just cut down that one wooden plank a little bit and then you can have a much smaller display and so it doesn't have to be specifically this size and dimension you can create it so that it's custom for your space and works for you as well now that I've got all the cords disguised, I'm going to go ahead and think about starting to style this so I'm going to be putting in some really nice um, kind of yummy fall inspired uh, teas here. So I've got this caramel apple by uh, Yogi. I have a fun uh, chai tea uh, latte type of tea. I'm gonna bring in some apple and cinnamon flavors as well as of course a warm and cozy chamomile a nice um, ashwagandha tea that is something that probably everyone should have that's an awesome and amazing tea if you've never had that before um, i want to bring in some orange um, a flavored tezo tea a, and i feel like these flavors really capture the essence of fall that especially the spice teas the apples the oranges these things all make me feel really cozy and i think are a great addition to your little display that you're creating here now for the um, Keurig that we have, I want to bring in a couple of nice little K-cups. I have this chai tea set that comes with these little packets that you can create these chai tea lattes. And then of course I have to bring in some pumpkin spice. And so that is a must have for every fall uh, decorative uh, coffee bar makeover. So I do have some pumpkin spice uh, K-cups there that I bring in as well. I was really excited to find these gourmet coffee spoons at TJ Maxx. They really look amazing and delicious. Pumpkin spice and maple and the honey and some of them are shaped like a maple leaves as well. So it's really quite nice and perfect for this setup. And I go ahead and I just layer these up in these um, drawers that I put a little bit on an angle and so that's why it's nice because that change in that angle of display you can see these a lot nicer and you can look at them and so things that are beautiful uh, that's why this is a perfect space to put those types of items. I actually cut the labels right off of the package, the flavor labels, because I thought that they were quite cute. And I just put a little double-sided tape on them. And I was trying to decide if I wanted to put it on the outside or uh, on the inside. And I actually ended up going with on the inside just because it gave it a little bit more of an understated uh, look. And I don't want it to be too uh, crafty looking. I want it to look elegant. And so this way you can kind of see down in there what is it, um, the flavor that you're getting, but it doesn't overwhelm it with uh, too much you know clutter essentially now I got these wooden rounds from Hobby Lobby I always collect things like this from Hobby Lobby when they have their sales because they what happens is these they have wooden rounds like this or they have those little miniature cutting boards and you know they're always have tons of those left over after the season so you end up getting them for like 90% off and I always grab them because I think they're fun for crafting I think they're fun for designing and styling elements and you can do just tons of things with them so just keep that in mind when you see something like this that at Hobby Lobby they just have a ton of potential and when you can get the, snag them for 90% off get a couple because there's lots of things you can do with them 
and you'll see me use them in different craft projects throughout my series. I'm just adding in a couple of little spices here that I got from Aldi's. There's a mulling spice and this rum spice, so those look really fun to try this season. And then I want to add in a couple of little uh, candies and some cinnamon and things like that. And so I wanted to recreate um, nice little jars for those instead of the original packaging that they came in. And I had these uh, leftover candle jars. This is another thing that I have a tendency to keep. I have a hard time throwing away. Um, and so I wanted to recreate them and make them nice. I really scrubbed out those candle um, jars with some extra hot water. Um, so to make sure there was no wax left behind. And then I took these acorns and little pumpkins and mushrooms from the Dollar Tree and I glued them on top of the lids to cover up the uh, previous branding uh, logo that was there. And these really create a very nice and homogeneous look to these little storage containers. And it's just sweet, understated, and elegant, and I just love the way that these turned out. It's kind of a funny thing guys, you'll see me upcycle a lot of stuff on my videos and I really, you know, have an eye for seeing what things can be and so it's so funny because in my feng shui videos you'll see that I'm always talking about decluttering your home and the rest of my home is completely decluttered but when it comes to my craft room, guys, I keep things that have potential because I just hate to throw things away and I always have ideas and so you will see me upcycling quite a bit on my channel when it comes to that so I, I would say for feng shui purposes I, I definitely declutter except for my craft room <laughs> These are just some little maple candies and then I have some maple sugar there as well as cinnamon which I think is essential on any fall coffee bar. I just love the way these turned out. I always feel really excited when I find a, a cool way to reuse something that I, I had uh, on hand and I think it's just such a cute little um, accent to this whole entire look. For this next part, I'm so excited. I got these really sweet dispensers for my syrups and it came in this box that says, clean your space, clear your mind. And I just loved it. I was already excited when I read that because I was like, yep, that is right on par. It is such an amazing little set. And I took my syrups and I put them in these glass jars. Uh, this is a pumpkin syrup. Um, I have a uh, vanilla as well as a hazelnut and a caramel that I chose for this fall display but this set comes with labels as well and so the labels on these bottles it looks like a like just a perfume shop it's just amazing they're gorgeous I just get giddy every time I look at it and this is a really cool brand it's uh, called Molly Molly and uh, it's uh, something you guys really should check out I am not sponsored by them but they have a really beautiful product here and I'll leave the link in the description below I got them on Amazon fortunately so this is definitely something you should check out I honestly think that these new bottles that I got make the look of this coffee bar. They look just so luxurious and elegant. I am just absolutely in love with them. And every morning when I see them and I, I go to get my morning coffee, I'm just absolutely thrilled and over the moon with the, this purchase. And they are really reasonably priced. So check that out for sure. So guys, now that we have that Dollar Tree stand completely styled and on display, can you even believe that we made that with stuff that we got from the Dollar Tree? It looks so elegant and so pretty. I'm so proud of the way that this turned out and you can do this so easily at home. And I really would love to hear in the comments below if you try this out and uh, send me a picture over on Instagram if you do. For this next part in DIY, I'm going to be doing little cloche uh, cookie stackers here. And so what I'm going to do is just stack up these little pedestals in different layers. And that top of that pedestal actually fits directly into the bottom of that cloche. And so it fits snug and perfectly. So you don't actually have to glue that. Although I did put a little bit of glue on there, you would not need to if you did not want that to be permanent. Now the... Um, I did three different layers, so I did one with one, one with two, and then one with three, and so that they would be at variations in their in their height. And then these make such a cute little stand. Oh my gosh, guys, look at that with the little cookies stacked up in there. 
I put a couple of macarons in a couple and they are so cute. They are a pumpkin spice flavor with a uh, orange coloration so they really fit well under our fall theme. I just put the, those in actually a little glass uh, cup so that they would stand easier. Um, these are just I think from like parfaits or something that I had gotten. Am I the only one that keeps those glass jars from their parfaits? I just I feel bad throwing them away. I feel like there's always something I can do with them and I always end up using them. I use them to put jams in and uh, all kinds of things to display on my charcuterie boards and on these kind of displays. So there's definitely something you can do with that. And then on the other ones, I stacked up these homemade snickerdoodles. Oh my gosh, I think it's so cute. I just love it. It just looks like such a little coffee bar experience. And um, yeah, my children are also very <laughs> excited about this, as you can probably imagine. I'm going to go ahead and add in this nice little lamp here. This is a nice Amazon find. It's just a little touch top lamp. It doesn't have a cord. It's cordless. And this is perfect, you know, if you're, for example, getting up early in the morning and uh, you need some light to kind of get you started, you just touch that. It comes in different colors and it has such an elegant and look to it. It's absolutely perfect for this area. Now lastly, I wanted to make a couple of homemade biscotti to put underneath that large cloche that we have. Um, a couple of tips that I can tell you um, is that this, when you go to make biscotti, the batter is very sticky. So just be aware that it's that is the actual consistency that it's supposed to be. And then I take that and split it up into two loaves. Now the first time I um, did it, I was probably the better setup. It was a little bit of a flatter loaf. And then I got concerned that it would be too um, um, small or not have enough height to it and so I kind of stacked it back up on itself but I didn't need to do that actually it did rise quite a bit and I think I would have liked them to be a little bit less thick in the center so just an FYI for you you can uh, have them a little bit flatter when you go ahead and, and bake them um, another tip is that once they are um, cooling down from the first cycle of cooking, you want to let them cool down completely before cutting them because they do crumble really easily. So you need to kind of support them as you're cutting them with your finger and such so that they don't kind of break apart completely. And then you would bake them again in the oven for you know four to five minutes on each side you flip them over in between the the baking cycle and so a biscotti is something that is cooked twice and so that's how they get so crispy and so um you know for a nice little tea uh, kind of cake experience or coffee whichever you're going to be dipping that in um and this are uh, they really turned out nice. You can add anything into biscotti. So if you want to add in nuts or even something like cranberries, I think that would really accent for the fall season. The other thing is that a lot of people will dip their biscotti in chocolate and do like a little drizzle on there of like maybe a white chocolate on top. Won't that be just a nice luxury touch if that's something that you're into? So it's a really versatile um, cookie and you know it's something that you know fun to think that it's really easy to make at home so try it out you know if you really don't like to bake uh, biscotti is also equally just as easy to buy in the store and regardless either way it's a really nice accent to your coffee bar so I'd love to hear what you think Now the last thing that I did to kind of bring my coffee experience all the way home is that I took a um, kind of just a little bit of a Canva design. I took some names from some items and created these little recipe menu for the coffee syrups. So just to give people ideas, you know, if they were, you know, looking at all these coffee syrups and they didn't know what to do with them, how to mix them to create different flavors that were kind of fall inspired. So I um, put that on a little sheet there and I put that next to the coffee machine and I, I was really pleased with the way this turned out. I had this little acrylic stand actually that you could get them off, off of Amazon easily as well. I can link some in the description below for you but these are a really fun way to kind of elevate that experience as well just to kind of give you a little inspiration and also give you that coffee shop vibe. 
This little blender here is awesome addition to your coffee bar as well. It is a high speed powered um, just mixer. So if you, for example, make any type of mixed beverages and you want to add anything into it or you want a little bit more foam or a little bit more frothing, this device really does a trick. It's quite impressive. I got that off of Amazon and I will definitely link that one in the description for you below. That is also one of my must haves on my coffee bar experience uh, because I actually add a lot of um, MCT oil to my coffees first thing in the morning and this actually makes that really frothy in my coffee and it's really delicious so that is something I can recommend for you as well but look guys how this coffee bar has turned out is that not amazing I am in love with it I think it's so nice I literally just kind of walk by this area of my home several times a day just to look at it um, you know uh, other than my children sneaking one or two of the cookies so far I haven't let anybody touch it because I just love looking at it um, but I have had quite a few of the uh, drinks and uh, mixing of the the syrups to make sure I could try out these fall flavors and it's just been such a fun experience and that's really what I strive to do when I do things like this in my home it's you know when you make something that looks nice and it feels good and it's functional and it feels luxurious there's a certain vibe that that brings to you and so you know especially for you know people who are in your busy lifestyles you know maybe you're you know um, maybe it's, it can be chaotic at home sometimes I know in my house is very chaotic I have four young children and so this like little moment where I can kind of walk by this area that's you know not necessarily mine but it feels like it's kind of like something for me it feels so oh, it feels like such a breath of fresh air and I love creating things like that and showing you how to do things like that and inspire you so that you can take a moment from your busy life from anything that's stressful or chaotic or um, you know whatever that might be and take you to an energetic space that is a breath of fresh air that is peaceful that is a feeling of just oh, calm and I hope that this video inspired you to do that for your own home and showed you how you could do this in a cheap way as well which is so exciting and so accessible to everyone and I, I really enjoyed making this video for you if you enjoyed it too give me a thumbs up if you did subscribe today I would love for you to let me know in the comments below so that I can say hi I uh, just really enjoy you know talking with everyone and, and responding to your comments so thank you so much for stopping by today and I hope that you have a wonderful holiday season coming up and uh, the next video will be a fall tablescape and I think you're going to really enjoy that as well. Thanks so much for watching guys. Bye for now.